So more than two furlongs this time then. And the top one is a three year olds by the way as well. The top one is Surfboard Supremo for Derek Hinton, Aladdin's Cove for Hems, Homo Sapien for John Illawalla for Martin Little, White Gold, Paul Rhodes, Flinty Bay for Graham Clutterbuck, Tadween for Shadwell, Burst of Energy, Alex Cherry, Daisy Hill, and have another one for C Beck with Java Point for David Robertson, Janet's Opera for Derek Hinton, Leon van Rensburg's two are Attention Victory and Nowhere to Hide, and Royal Heritage for Paul Rhodes is the bottom one. Fifteen of them then. New weather again, and away they go. You can see the dirt being kicked up, and the one that's getting there. suffering from that the most is Janet's Opera at the back at the moment. They're sorting themselves out, and as we see quite a lot, it's a Hinton at the front and a Hinton at the back. But it's Homo Sapien who's now going through to take it up, running in those Jim Murray colours. I'm not quite sure who's got them at the moment, but it's Homo Sapien in the lead from Surfboard Supremo. And burst of energy and have another one. White gold is after that one in Flinty Bay. Uh, Royal Heritage Java Point is just the back of that little second group. Then there's a bunch of greys pretty much together. Illawalla, the one closest to us. The two right over on the rail are Daisy Hill and Aladdin's Cove. The back marker is just about attention to victory. And it's Homo Sapien and Surfboard Supremo. You dispute the lead and they're already into the final six furlongs in with Homo Sapien in the red sleeves on the inside of the pink jacketed surfboard Supremo. Then there's a gap back to the Paul Rhodes pair. I don't think I've seen Paul Rhodes have a grey before. Royal Heritage and white gold. I have had one a few seasons ago, but I don't remember one off the top of my head. And it's Homo Sapien in the lead from Surfboard Supremo in second. Then White Gold is third, Royal Heritage fourth, then Java Point, Flinty Bay, and Burst of Energy. Have another one is next. Then Daisy Hill Field trails back to Aladdin's Cove, who's just a back marker. But Java Point has now come through to challenge for the lead with Homo Sapi and Surfboard Supremo still sticking on there in third. But Royal Heritage now coming through out of the pack, and Royal Heritage shows a good turn of foot to come through to challenge for the lead. Java Point there with about a net in front of Royal Heritage. Homo Sapi and now looks to be treading water back in third, then Burst of Energy and have another one of these front two. And beginning to pull away from the remainder. And it's Java Point on the near side. Royal Heritage on the far side. They race down towards the furlong pole. And then Java Point in front being worn down by Royal Heritage. White Gold will know in third, but it's still Java Point on the inside. Royal Heritage looks like they've got no more to give now. And then Java Point is beginning to pull away. They race up towards the line. And Java Point is going to take it from Royal Heritage. Second, White Gold is third. Then Aladdin's Cove and Flinty Bay. Janet's Opera finished well. Homo Sap going to end up last. And. A good win there for David Robertson. You see the horse in four finishing really fast as well. I'll check which one that is when we see the card. Right. Take a look at the result then. It's Java Point for David Ladd, David Robertson, the winner. Royal Heritage for Paul Rhodes was second. White Gold for Paul Rhodes again was third. Aladdin's Cove was the one that finished really well for Hems in fourth. And Flinty Bay was fifth for Graham Clitterbuck.